been a while since I've done one of these, but it was about time I did another one. We've bought a vacuum cleaner, which is the most exciting thing ever. This is a Shark Duo Clean with True Pet technology. We've got a couple of dogs, they leave a lot of fur everywhere. We normally use a pneumatic vacuum, which is slightly cumbersome, but does a really good job. But we thought something that's always on hand and cordless might be a better idea. Just buzz it around when there's a load of fur. So, the obligatory box picture. Isn't this exciting? Flexible reach, which on the advert they call Flexology. Should be quite good because it might go in a cupboard easier. This one's got two batteries. The batteries last 44 minutes. The batteries have a two year guarantee, which is not bad for batteries. The whole unit has a five year guarantee once you've registered it. Uh, it does hard floors, soft floors, carpet floors, large, small, stuck on particles, blah, 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 all that nonsense. So, there's the box. I haven't got a tripod set up. So, opening this while filming it, it's going to be interesting. There we go. Here's the features. I'm not going to read these out, you can see all of that. It has the ever important crevice tool. And we got the one with the true pet motorised pet brush instead of just the normal sucky sucky that's got a spinny spinny. It's normally 50 quid more or something, but it was on sale. Quick start guide, manual, and a load of stuff. So, let me get this out. That comes out first. That's a long pipe. This is a short pipe head thing. In here, it's the dog, it's all his fault. In here, there's a little baggie. It's the other dog, you can blame them. There's a bag for some reason. This seems to be just all the tools, the charger, uh, yeah, that's the battery cradle, and I don't know where the batteries are. They're probably further down. It's all packed in cardboard, not foam, which is good. Uh, right, here's the business end. Which looks like this is all very modular. Yeah, so that's where the action happens. Oh, and he's got headlights. The one thing I liked about this, oh, I can't believe I said I liked something about a vacuum cleaner. The one thing I noticed about this on one of their marketing videos, and it's empty, was that it has headlights. Right, here's the batteries. These are the expensive things. Or should be the expensive things. And there should be two of them. They're both going to be in here. No, so they're packed individually. They are. Have a look in case people are interested in such things. I can't read that. Uh, 25 volt, 61.7 watt hour, 2450 milliamp. So, not a massive capacity, but 21 volts out of that. Not bad. And some more bits of shit in there. Ah, there's more heavy stuff. Right, and there is a cylinder for it. So the head is the spinny, and this is the sucky. So I guess it's a similar thing to a Dyson, or possibly a Vax, because it's got the filter on the inside, not on the outside. And it looks like a gun. Isn't that fantastic? It's really designed for men. And do we have another battery in here? Yes we do, there's the other battery. So, I'm going to stop it here for a minute and put it together. That actually is really simple, you could have watched me do that. These are three main bits to it to use as a vacuum. You have the spinny, the air pipe and the sucky. Spinny bit, have on the ground. 
plug straight in there. Plucky bit. Plugs in here. So immediately there was a thing that annoyed me. So here it is in vacuum mode. You let go. It's going to fall down every time you need to stop using it. You need to lay it down. I'm going to forget. It's going to drop. I'm probably going to break it. The battery has come somewhat charged. It has, so on the top, I don't know what these buttons do yet because I haven't read the manual. Who would ever do that? Uh, simple on off button there, switch it on and off. Switched on. Comes on like that, it spins. Do that noise. And look, there's the headlights. How cool is that? And it pulls itself along, which is really interesting. So thankfully, we've got a load of dog fur in the carpet, so we vacuum today and we can see how it does. So I'm not looking at what it's doing, you're looking at me vacuuming. Look at this, a man pushing a vacuum cleaner. Turn it up, turn it off. And that is a lot of dog hair. This might not be the best thing if you've got a lot of dog hair, because that might fill up pretty quickly. But we shall see. Anyway, let's see what the other doofers are. I'm going to take the thing apart to stop it falling over. You press the button you could just see but I can't show you while I'm taking it apart and that will stand on its own. And then you've just got the sucky thing and then you've got, this is the pet tool. So this is what you would use for your upholstery and such and soft furnishings I guess. I don't know what pull tabs for, I use that. And you get normal upholstery tool crevice wand, the charging brick, I'll need to charge the other battery, that's your normal little brush head, I'll just take this out so you can see what I mean, so it's that sort of thing with bristles that always get flagged up, and there's another crevice tool for a different sort of crevice I guess. No. Ah, that's a dust brush. Huh, for your dusting. That's actually really good. These are soft bristles here, soft bristles on the sides. So you can dust your hard surfaces. So I'm quite impressed with that. And the charging brick, it can charge both batteries at once. Standard mains plug in, suckers on the feet used on a flat surface only, got no weight to it at all, so that might flap around if you've got the batteries out. But charging both at once is a good idea. And that's your lot. From the little bit of vacuuming I've done, I'm quite impressed actually. It might even do a better job than the Henry Hoover we've got. So I'm going to vacuum some more, and I might come back with another verdict. But apart from that, this is the Shark Duo Clean Cord Free Vacuum Cleaner with true pet technology. So far, so good.